Hi, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. In this video, we interview Michelle, on whom we did a short scar facelift uh, eight or nine years ago, and she's aged a little bit more and uh, wants a tune-up. And so, rather than do a big, huge facelift, uh, she wants to do another short scar rhododectomy with roughly a week of downtime. So, watch my little interview with Michelle right now. Hi, Dr. Lindsay here. I'm with Michelle, uh, who is how old, ma'am? I'm 60. And I worked on you a number of years ago, and we did a short scar facelift on you then. And since that time, you've lost weight. Yes. And uh, you're back for a tune-up, right? Yes. And yes. the things that you have going for you, and, and you can just look at the right. camera, is that you've got a nice pointy chin, which really helps me to pull back. You, your parents gave you a nice distance between your collarbone and your ears. And although you, you have some extra tissue here, I've got plenty of room to reach in and pull. And so we're going to go, and I'm going to give you a Valium here in just a second, and okay. then we'll draw on you, and then I'll numb you up. And you probably remember from before, the numbing up hurts a little bit, right? Yes, yes. And then I'll make a little incision around each ear, underneath your chin, we'll do some liposuction. Liposuction of these jaw lines. And then I grab the neck muscle, and I pull it back, and, that, and your skin comes along with that. And so we'll trim off a little skin. It's not a whole lot of skin. Trimming off extra skin just leaves you a bad scar. So we trim off, uh, whatever skin is free to come after we sew up the muscles and then sew you up and put a head wrap on and we'll do a little video in about an hour and a half to show what you look like and then we'll update this next week okay sure. uh when i worked on you before was i pretty upfront with you that yes yeah yes. and uh, how much did it hurt last time do you remember i don't remember so that was how little it hurt okay well, <laughs> that good. was great all right thank you sure. so so right after that uh we went and did the short scar facelift on her and uh we saw her at a day, and then day three, and then she came back at day six to get her stitches out. So, take a look at her here. Oh, look at that. All I right, did Wendy. It. Oh, that's so, Michelle, we just finished with your uh, procedure. Let me just show your neck and your jawline. How much did that hurt you? You've had a Valium, so you may be a little exaggerated. Yeah, I know. It was great. Okay, and you chatted the whole time. I talked the whole time. Okay, and did uh, I hurt you much during the procedure? No. The numbing up hurts a little bit, right? Yes, that's about it. And then uh, your incision lines here, yeah. around the ear, and up underneath the neck. And then put your head to the front just a little bit, just like that. All right, well, thanks. Okay, so you're now day six out from our short scar rhododectomy that we did, and we'll join this with the, the video we did last week. Okay. The big pain was wearing that head wrap, right? Yes. How yes. much pain did you have other than that head wrap? Very minor, only the first couple of days, and then... And that was kind of pain behind your ears. Right. right? Yep. And I'll put pictures up of you before and after. Your jawline looks fantastic. Yep. And you've got a little swelling behind your ears, which is where everything's sewn up to. And your chin looks good. And now you got to wear that head wrap for an, at night for another week. Okay. And yep. then uh, start putting vitamin E on your scars. Okay. And your scars look just fantastic. Uh, was that pretty upfront with you? Yes, you were very upfront. <clears throat> yeah, it was great. And uh, anything you think the viewing public should know about this? It was a piece of cake. Okay. Yep. We'll see you back in a month and get uh, a follow-up for six weeks or so and get a follow-up to add to this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. So what do you think, Wendy? We've done plenty of people like her. She, um, she has decent skin for a 60-year-old. She's got a very angular face, which really helps us. And her parents gave her probably three or four inches between her chin and her neck, which makes a big difference. It tells, it gives me something to pull against and define that neck. Yeah. yeah, compared to my round face that angular face gives you like an awesome result. Um, yeah, well, it's nice to see six weeks, six days, six, six days day. after, and that's great. I mean, she's basically, back yeah. she's back to work. So this is, this is a perfect procedure for somebody that doesn't have much down, and once that doesn't have much downtime, because she works. Right. And, you know, it's, she looks great. Yeah, and we'll get her back in um, a month or two and I'll do another little video. We've got we've done lots of these. If you're interested or you uh, want to talk to us, please give Wendy or me a call, and we'll see you in the office. Thank you.